Hello. Uh, yep. Hello, and welcome to today's Torah portion. Before I get started, I'm a say a blessing. Blessed art thou, Adonai, the new king of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments, commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please donate, honey, seen the words of your Torah in our mouths and the mouths of all the people of Israel. May we not spring the offspring of your people, the house of May we all together know your name and study your Torah for sake, fulfilling your desire. <coughs> Blessed you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people of Israel. Blessed are you, Adonai, the new king of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, give her the Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence to you, none of you may be kind to you. May Adonai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. <sighs> Today's read is Ezekiel 45, 16 through 46, 18. All the people of the land shall be obliged to give this offering to the prince in Israel, it shall be the prince's duty to furnish the burnt offerings, grain offerings, drink offerings in the at the feast, the new moons, and the Sabbaths. All the appointed feasts of the house of Israel, he shall provide the sin offerings, grain offerings, burnt offerings, and peace offerings to make atonement on behalf of the house of Israel. Thus says Yahweh Elohim, in the first month, on the first day of the month, you shall take a bull from the herd without blemish and purify the sanctuary. The priest shall take some of the blood of the sin offering and put it on the doorposts of the temple, the four corners of the ledge of the altar and the posts of the gate of the inner court. You shall do the same on the seventh day of the month. For anyone who has sinned through error or ignorance, so you shall make atonement for the temple. In the first month, on the fourteenth day of the month, you shall celebrate the feast of the Passover. And for seven days, unleavened bread shall be eaten. On the day, on that day, the prince shall provide for himself and for all the people of the land a young bull for a sin offering. And on the seventh day of the festival, he shall provide as a burnt offering to Yahweh seven young bulls and seven rams without blemish, on each of the seven days, and a male goat daily for a sin offering. And he shall provide as a grain offering an ephah for each bull. An ephah for each ran, and a hen of oil to each ephah. In the seventh month, on the fifteenth day of the month, and for the seven days of the feast, he shall make the same provision for a sin offering. For sorry, same provision for sin offerings, burnt offerings, and grain offerings, and for the oil. Thus says Yahweh Elohim. The gate of the inner court that faces east shall be shut on the six working days, but on the seventh day it shall be opened, and on that, on the day of the new moon it shall be opened. The prince shall enter by the vestibule of the gate from outside, and shall take his stand by the post of the gate. The priest shall offer his burnt offering and the peace offerings, and he shall worship at the threshold of the gate. Then he shall go out, but the bull shall not be shut this sorry but the gate shall not be shut until morning the people of the land shall bow down at the entrance of the gate before Yahweh on the Sabbaths and on the new moons the burnt offerings that the prince offers to Yahweh on the seventh day shall be six lambs without blemish and a ram without blemish and the grain offerings with the ram shall be an ephah and the grain offerings with the lamb shall be as much as he is able together with a hen of oil to each ephah on the day of the moon, sorry, on the day of the new moon, he shall offer a bull from the herd without blemish, and six lambs, and a ram, which shall be without blemish. As a grain offering, he shall provide an ephah with the bull, and an ephah with the ram, and with the lambs as much as he is able, together with a hen of oil to each ephah. When the prince enters, he shall enter by the vestibule of the gate, and he shall go out by the same way. When the people of the Lamb come before Yahweh at the appointed feast, he is to, sorry, he who enters by the north gate to worship shall go out by the south gate. He who enters by the south gate shall go out by the north gate. No one shall enter by the way of the gate by which he entered, but each shall go out straight ahead. When they enter, the prince shall en enter with them, and when they go out, he shall go out. 
at the feast and at the point of festival the grain offering with the young bull shall be an ephah or the ram an ephah and with the lambs as much as one is able to give together with a hint of oil to an ephah when the prince provides a free will offering either a burnt offering or a peace offering as a free will offering to yahweh the gate facing east shall be open for him and he shall offer his burnt offering or his peace offerings as he does on the sabbath day then he shall go out, and after he's gone out, the gate shall be shut. You shall provide a lamb, a year old without blemish, for a burnt offering to Yahweh daily. Morning by morning you shall provide it, and you shall provide a grain offering with it, morning by morning, on the sixth day in ephah. Sorry, one sixth of an ephah. And on the third and one third of a hen of oil to moisten the flour as a grain offering to Yahweh. This is a perpetual statute. Thus, the lamb and the meal offering and the oil shall be provided morning by morning for a regular burnt offering. Thus says Yahweh Elohim, if the prince makes a gift to any one of his sons as his inheritance, it shall belong to his sons. It is their property by inheritance. But if he makes a gift out of his inheritance to one of his servants, it shall be his to the year of liberty, then it shall revert to the prince. Surely it is his inheritance. It shall belong to his sons. The prince shall not take any of the inheritance of the people, thrusting them out of their property. He shall give his sons their inheritance out of his own property, so that none of my people shall be scattered from this, from his property. Blessed art thou, Adonai, in the King of the Universe, who gave the Torah of truth and set everlasting life in the midst. Blessed art thou, Adonai, giver of the Torah, Bruka da Adonai, and Hinu Malak Halo, Masha Tan, Natan Lenu, Terene Met Vaishilom, Natan Vetikinu, Bruka da Adonai, and Atin Ha Tara. I hope you all have a great night and a fantastic tomorrow.